Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm at my hobo camp. I have a little fire going at my hobo. And try to clean up, because I got a special guest. I got a special guest coming up this January. I just want you to see that fire. And over here, I got my automatic lights. I just need to change the battery on this thing here. And now we turn off the lights up here. Then outside, I got a uh, uh, solar lights. Huh? There's one over here. I, did, huh, I thought that was broken. There's a solar light over here in the woods. It's still on. I'll be damned. And I got. Uh, so a light right here and a sort of light over there. It's pretty bright out here. Yeah. Trying to clean up because I got a special guest coming up next next month. All right, I'll see y'all next time. And all the buckets I'm cleaning out and have to fix and I'm gonna pour all these blankets in the a bucket so rats won't eat it. That's why I've been having problems with mice. So, I come out here to clean up. Look at that fire. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. See y'all next video. <laughs> well, I'm Ranger Cookie. And I've been out here at my hobo camp. Fixing it. Repairing it. Uh, finding all the flaws and things I need to do with it. You saw me, I was out here last night. I had a little campfire. So I was out here fixing my hobo. Let me see if I can get a light in here. Uh, which I doubt I get a light later. But uh, all this had a little bit of water. I have these big pipes on the... Uh, Hey, we'll come out here so you can see. I have this pipe on one of the beams and it's bending it down and holding water. So I have to uh, fix that. This is holding very well. There's no water. I wish I could just take this down. I wish I had a helper, a good helper, help me take this down and rebuild it. I got some screen wire and I could put up in here and re. Uh, redo all the pieces of woods I have a lot of pieces of woods being rotten by uh, uh, bugs I could do is get one of those uh, car things another car shelter and put it over here I don't know all right over here uh, this tree was lying over I had to pull it back it's a white oak and over here, I had fixed this tarp. That's about it. it. I can see over here that needs to be repaired. These containers need to be cleaned so, so I can get water from my faucet here. See, I got water here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn it on. Once I turn it on, I'll get water and a drop bucket. And over here, is, this is all right too. I don't have to repair this. This is my little tool shed. That's about it. I might check for bees. You got bees up underneath there. And I have my little log book. I will always write in the log book how many days I've been out here. Such and such. And who's been out here? Alright, let's take a look. Ah, over time, all this used to be all green. And it's kind of dead. It's kind of cold out here today. It's, uh, I feel about 62, 63. I had to take this tarp and put it over that. But I might use that for my hobo. Because it's still a good tarp. And I can put it over that, over the, uh, my hobo. And I got plenty of firewood. My clay stove. My, uh, stove and a bunch of stuff to burn. And I got my wood over here. I need this tarp still. 
It's too dry. It's rotten. It's getting rotten. Because I barely use it. I probably barely come out here. And a big pile of starter wood. Underneath a little tarp there. Got milk crates in case I need them. And the system is working pretty well for me. So I've been out here cleaning and organizing my camp. Because I have a special guest. And I brought some more stuff out here. I'm debating about building a camp in my yard. It will be only a display. Because I won't be able to, to camp in it. Because you will just say, well, hell with it. I'm just going to go inside and sleep inside instead of camping here. And it's cold. I can just go inside. So the best thing when you build a camp, always build a camp about five miles away from your house. That way... You have to camp. I just want to give you a little update on what I'm doing, how I'm cleaning it. Um, just had some water right here. I don't know if you can see that right there, but I had water. And I can't wait to uh, rebuild everything. Alright, I'll raise your kooky. And next update will be on the base camp. It's probably where we're going to be staying. I don't know. But I'm getting both of them ready because it's cold. So it's kind of weird weather what we've been having so i don't know if we're gonna be a hobo or base camp it all depends on bear so bear it's on you all right see you next video Mama, well i'm ranger cookie i want to show you the uh update on cleaning the hobo and the uh base camp i just want to show you what i have done Uh, I raised my tarp here, put a old stick, I hope it don't blow off. This area don't need to be covered by a complete rain cover, it just need to be shaded. That's all I did, and keep the leaves from going into my zinc. But they still get leaves into my zinc. Um, I cleaned out the shower. Not much, but... Then I put new rope string and rope lights into the camp so we have plenty lights and i try to make sure i have plenty batteries so i'm bringing batteries and that's all i do is move all the stuff outside like i usually do and we can camp here and we have a nice fire pit to keep warm if it's cold that in days that he uh my my guest comes over here, I didn't have to do much. I just had to make sure I put a new tarp on my hobo. Because I think there's a leak in the uh, other old ones. Because damn mice. Uh, I, did, I cleaned a little bit of this, but I put the tarp back up. But I need to put a little can in me here. That's going to be later. I might not do that. And let me show you what I did at base camp. Follow me. Cut. Or see you in a few seconds. Your kooky? Well, cut, actually, well, Armoring oh, Jakuki, I've been working on my base camp. I've been moving all the trash. Uh, I had junk everywhere. So I moved a lot of trash into the thing. I fixed these tarps and make them higher. Tied it to this oak tree over here. I cleaned out the area for my hammock. Well, it could be here. Uh, the other hammock area is right here. It's, I had to fix it, but it's getting getting there. This was all down. I had to fix that. This was all down because the water was on top of it. So I'm going to put a tarp here and fix that so we will not cave in no more. Fix that. I fixed my wood bin. I had these two extra yellow tarps for uh, for that thing right there. So I put it over here. I put two tarps over here. So that protects my wood bin from getting wet. So I have wood 24 hours if I need it. Because I got it's protected by tarps. Tons of wood. Um, I need to clean off uh, burn this stuff But I got all this all ready. This was all hanging down. So I fixed this So 
So I got all the stuff ready for my guests. I'm gonna have a special guest. His is the bear. He's gonna come out. I don't know if we go camp at the, this camp or hobo. I've been cleaning hobo, fixing it, repairing it, and getting it ready. So I need an earth top right here that protects this table that my friend made from rotten. And another tarp at the end. See, I got a tarp here. See, I have it tied down. And no water got up there. If this was out in the middle of nowhere, it would work. But since I got trees and branches and all kinds of stuff in the way, I have to do it like this. But this protected from caving in. So I need another tarp to go this way and down. And that should be it for this place. And the tarp over there... And this area is pretty good. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. It's all getting cleaned up. I should have burned that when I had the chance, but it's all wet now. So I had to leave it there. And my bush chair. And the other side is going to have the uh, chair right there, or I could put another bush chair. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoy the update of the summer camp. Uh, the upgrade I have done is put another tarp on top. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen the videos, but I have got me a, core, a car part port, port where you park your cars in for this camp. I'm sorry, I'm not going to the old style no more of wood, especially this camp. This camp is me and Andrew's camp. I enjoy this camp so much. Um, he built this table. So I did a lot of stuff just to protect this table. I put a tarp here. I put uh, this cavity thing here. I got a table. Now this is dedication. I'm going to show you a dedication. A picnic table in the middle of the woods. Somebody was throwing this away. Me and my friend Andrew brought this baby in here. With no machine. Just us two and manpower. This thing is a heavy summer gun. Now I'm going to protect this camp. I don't care how I'm going to do it. I'm going to protect it. But here's the update on the... Uh, I only had one tarp. This brown tarp. And this was not tarped. And it just had water to the bottom. It just soaked the freaking tarp. I had to repair the whole thing. Just the tarp. I had to fix the tarp. Make the tarp tight and I put an extra tarp and tarped it you know real tight so the water will run off this thing now I will never have no more water problems and I put this tarp here to protect that table I'm not going to move the table I'm going to leave it just like where it's at so that's the upgrade is the two tarps on this building over here on my wood bin I put those two yellow tarps is one on top and one on bottom. It's for the door, the two doors. So I put that on my wood bin. This is my wood bin. It got wet during the rainy season, but it should be dry bef before June. And I have some wood here. We're going to burn that. And that's about it on the upgrade here. And the other upgrade is I took a stick and made that go up higher. And tie that tarp again onto that oak, that oak tree. Well, basically, I, I sling a rope over and I pulled it high as I can because I was getting tired of the tarp dragging and collecting water because that's mosquitoes and lobby. So, and I raise those up with sticks. I might raise, put a stick here and raise that in, and one right here in this middle and raise it. Uh, fix the. The strings somehow got apart and fall off and it was just sagging. So now it's higher. I can walk underneath this with no problem. And about that's about it. Um, I just have to burn this trash. I have to dry it out before June. So I might have to put it underneath the table or something or just let it get wet and ruined or try to use it as a... Uh, uh, over time when I get ashes here, I'll dig it up. And before I dig that up, I will dig this open. I'll take all the leaves and rake it off. And I make it like a little pit. And I'll throw all that ash right here to raise up this area. I'll be I'll keep doing that until the day I die. 
and I put these yellow pegs to let me know where my metal is that's why I hook my tarp and this is my hammock setup right here so I set my hammock here I have to replace my a-frame it's completely rotten now I mean I have to replace it I mean it's finally rotten it's been almost the beginning of my career of YouTube I created this a-frame bed Go watch um, what happens if your lights went out. And that's the video with this. All right. That's all the updates I have here. I do have to. Um, I have to untie these and tie them back. Because it's getting too tight for the tree. And I don't want to choke the tree. So I have to untie all these strings. And over here it's really getting tight. And I got to untie it. And give this tree some breath or some air and tie it back on there and try to make it loose or something so it can grow i don't want to choke this tree and this whole tree i mean these pine trees getting choked too so that's my next test while i'm out here i don't have to show you the update on that because y'all know i'm going to be doing it when me and my friend the bear comes out here uh we he has a choice to stay at the base camp he can put his tent hammock or whatever he has right here and i have my hammock over there if i don't rebuild the a-frame by then and we got plenty of place to sit underneath a nice cavity or tarp area like i said this place is very special to me so is the hobo i try to keep both of these camps up to date and my friend bear can go fishing down here at the bayou so bear if you don't have a fishing pole i have two here at this camp right down there hey mr spidey i'm sorry mr spidey look must be a f male because they're smaller all right i'm ranger kooky i'll see you next video uh see you next video